this next matchup, we're ready to send you things down as the Cavaliers face again Stanky. Now this matchup is definitely going to be it. It's a win or go home for Cleveland Cavaliers. A biggest winning overtime happened to be Miami Heat. As Terry Rozier dunked it out again, the seventh seed looking for her next competition to beat. The other team in the fourth, uh, the second seed matchup. Well, it's not going to be always easy for now, but this might be what they're expecting. This play is going to keep on coming, and that's true. That means we're ready to see how this is going to happen, what they're going to do. Well, this be Heat moving on to the West Eastern Conference Finals to face against the Celtics or the Cavaliers to start things up and head into Ryan Game 7 for one last time. Now the next commentary I will have is Brian Anderson and I will have the other one look in between a boomer for the uh, for the villain part of the game for the, between the timeouts and the fouls in between and we have the 2K Sports Crew and Allie LaForce on the sideline. We'll see you all back later for the Peer Post Game Show. And I'll be all the games here coming up after the final period. Let's get going. Pete Cavs next. Two K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA playoffs. And as they gear up for this challenge on the road, a look at the Cavs team bus getting to the arena. It's all business for these guys tonight. And now, 2K Sports brings you Thursday night in the NBA. Our game tonight featuring the Cleveland Cavaliers as they go up against the Heat in Miami. Along with Grant Hill and Richard Jefferson, this is Brian Anderson. And we've got our reporter, Allie LaForce. A look at the opening lineup for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Garland runs point with Mitchell at the two. And a lot of size for him, with both Mobley and Allen watching the paint. And it's Struess in at the small forward position. And for the Heat, Hero and Butler make up the perimeter pair. Then it's Bam out of bio. Then it's Terry Rozier. And it's Highsmith in at the power forward position. Rivalry games, Grant, always extra spicy, especially when they feature teams from the same conference. Ooh, I like a little spice. But remember, only one team per conference gets to the final, so that's going to naturally develop some rivalries here and there. So tonight should be a really competitive game. Pass to Rozier. Out of bio against Allen. From 13. Can't get his first shot of the game to fall. And it's Allen with the ball for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Here's Garland. The nine there is Garland. He's Garland. Stops, takes it. Garland has that shot ready to go in all time. Butler on the wing. Outside for Rozier. Back to Butler. Mitchell. Cavaliers with a rebound. Struess the pass to Mitchell. And just about a minute into this first quarter. Covered by Mobley. Here's Butler. Basket. Shoot Me. Butler. JB gets hit on the shot and still gets it to go. Grant <laughs> <laughs> termination of the Heat. Not to be underestimated. Well, be a last it season nice, became just the second eighth seed in NBA history to advance to the finals. And Jimmy Butler said it. We don't care if you pick us to win. We never have. We never will. Rozier pulls it down. The Heat have gone one for three so far. Oh, this is the top. Number 45, Donovan Mitchell. His first personal foul, team first team foul. Now, now in the line for the Heat, Tyler Hero. Out of line, two shots. Thank you. 
And he makes the first. You know, the Cavs have done a nice job rebuilding since the end of the second LeBron era, Richard. No, it took a few years, B.A., but yes, the front office has found some quality talent in the draft. Darius Garland, Evan Mobley, and they've made aggressive moves getting Donovan Mitchell that helped them get back into the postseason. So Hero nails both of them. Now he's perfectly comfortable doing work at the line. Here's Garland. And the first quarter of action, two minutes in. Can't get it. He's now one of four from the floor. Pass to Rozier. Struess against Butler. Over Struess. And Chandler. that one's me. The assist Butler. What vision from Rozier there. Terry Rozier. He was wide open and making the right pass. Here's Struess. Butler covering. Inside. And here we go. The Heat fast break. Rozier from outside. Terry Rozier. Mitchell to halt the run. The Cavaliers again cannot hit. Here's Highsmith. Pass to Hero. Rozier, left side. Here's Adebayo. And They're hoping to turn things around with this timeout. On the wrong side of the scoring right here, we might see a lineup change. I'll, I'll be pretty curious. Well, there's not a curious way out there because there's one way. JB Biggerstaff already been leaving out of the game and it seemed like this is the end for him. He's trying to see what he can do to see where the next new contract is and a replacement for Cleveland Cavaliers. And just a bigger assignment of a note, we got five minutes in the first. Looks like that the Miami Heats are starting things strong already, but there might be what they are looking for if they can get there at a moment in time. When we come back, we'll see what they can do with the Cavaliers to keep this thing up. Now we're ready to get this thing on the board. Let's see if the Cavaliers can try to keep things back in alive. <laughs> Pass to Struess. To stop the drought. Max Struess for three. You don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. And it's Rogier with the ball for the Miami Heat. Here's Highsmith. Back to Rogier. Here's Highsmith. Covered by Mobley. And it's Highsmith missing. He was so well positioned to interfere with the shot. Textbook defense take a good angle to the shooter and bother the release. Garland, no good. He hasn't been able to find his touch this quarter. Yeah, straight up, guys. Like, he's ice cold, like freezing. What's colder than cold? Damn, a ball. Jimmy Butler. Gets the ball close in. He's really hard to stop. To the middle. And Evan Mobley throws it down. Yeah, and Mobley's teammates love throwing lobs his way. Why? Because he catches pretty much anything he throws. Well, to be in the NBA, you have to believe you belong here. No shortage of belief in Darius Garland. Darius Garland. No, he's been that way since day one. He believes he has all the moves, all the shots, and look, that leads him to perform better. It's that confidence. Here's Hero. After the Cavs picked up a basket a moment ago. Pass to Highsmith. Over Mobley. And it's Highsmith missing. The Cavs trailing. Any foul. Number 22, Jimmy Butler. His first personal foul. First team foul. Had a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The swine break out of the heat. Max shoots. Start getting it inside and scoring at close range. Shots. Solid fundamentals so far in this one. Another thing they're doing well early on is moving the ball, playing selfless basketball, and getting everybody involved on the offensive end.
throws drop for Struis. Substitutional for E.D. with a new groove. Jim Hopkins, Junior. He's checked in for out. Duncan Wade Robinson. Karis LeVert is checked in for Mitchell. And it's Merrill in Nicola for Garland. Nikola Jovic and DeLon Bright. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. The Heat with the lead. Right outside. Pass to Robinson. To the wing. Right side. Akez, the pass to Robinson. Beyond the arc. Can't get his first shot of the game to fall. Yeah, the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. The Cavaliers again cannot hit. The Heat have got 50% of their shots to fall so far. They're 5 of 10. Jokic passes to Robinson. Surgical. There is no way to slow him down when he wants to score. Here's Merrill. Drews the pass to Merrill. Knocks down the ball. Such an effective shooter. If you lose track of him defensively, he's going to make you pay. Here's Hawkins. Covered by Struz. Jamie Hawkins Jr. He is trash like that. Long, long rights. Wide open look, and the Cavaliers get another bucket right here. Oh, 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 nice move by Levert. A welcome sign for this team. Outside Robinson. Back to right, into the paint. A minute 42 left to play in the first quarter. And here comes Cleveland. They're on a 14 to 6 run. Pulls through the rim. Look like a schoolyard player out there. For Miami, they've gotten seven of 13 shots to drop. Right, the pass to Hawkes. Robinson with it. He's checked by LeBert. Pass to Hawkes. And here's Wright from the arc. There will be some let down at some point, but these teams, they are built to score, so. Here's Wade. And it's all from three-point range. Miami's gone two for four from range to start things off. Right, the pass to Hawkins. Robinson on the wing. Just textbook basketball. Defense! Levert outside. Pass to Merrill. Let's it go from deep. And George Nia, he gets the whistle that time. George Nia, he his first foul. Richardson's he's not checked in. Morris, he's checked in for the he's lead. Sure. Toro he's he's sure. he's he's sure. sure. he comes in for Struess. We've got 22 seconds left in the Josh first quarter. Richardson. Now Richardson. It's Martin on the wing. Back to Richardson. Outside Robinson. And Duncan Robinson! Hit to perfection and got all the way to the rim. The first quarter. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter in this one. Let's quickly break down what we've seen from the Heat. They're off to a rock solid start. They brought a well thought out plan to this one. Well, let's see if they're able to keep it up. So far, their shot selection and ball movement has been at one point. Well, Grant, you've been the up and cover, but you've also played the role of the veteran. 
What's the key to that latter stage? You know, B.A., your contributions as a veteran are felt just as much with your leadership as they are with your numbers. So sharing what you've learned with those younger players on the way up is so, so important. The duo inside, Butler and Adebayo. Terry Rozier is out there with Josh Richardson, and it's Robinson in at the three. That's the group of the game for the Heat. The offensive rebound. Robinson on the wing. Rozier with it. Six to shoot. Here's Adebayo. Ooh, good work defensively by Morris. Outstanding work to send him away. They sniffed that one out. From deep, Mitchell. Jimmy Butler with the rebound. And so it's Butler who brings up the ball for Miami. Richardson for three. Oh, Josh Richardson! Three! Cleveland has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Here's Garland. Gets an open there he is. Garland. You've got to be right on Garland from that mid-range spot because he is lethal from there. Pass to Butler. And wow, well, the Cavaliers. Marcus Morris in free throws. Is his first goal foul. Right on top of the receiving foul. Now, now shooting for me. Jimmy, Jimmy Butler. Shooting two. He's checked in for Robinson. Hero! And hero in for Richardson. Mobley, he's checked in for the Cavaliers. Butler hits them both. And here's Garland. He has six. Pass to Okoro. Takes a three. And it's Miami with a rebound. Adebayo's got four rebounds now. From the wing, shot she, off the three, Butler. He's got four points this quarter. Butler is at the right man on the bike. Range. Butler believes he's going to beat his man each and every time. Okoro passes to Mitchell. Oh, Mitchell with the start. The Mitchell with the three. And that's a defensive lapse. A shooter of his caliber can't be left wide open. Pass to Rozier. It was over the cylinder. Yeah, and the offensive basket interference. We're now about two minutes into the second quarter. Mitchell, the pass to Garland from 13. That there he is. Nice seven by Mitchell. Garland's got eight. Sharing if you get yourself this open, Mitchell will set you up. Pass to Highsmith. Back to Rozier. Here's Highsmith. And here's Butler outside. But that effort is to make this one in there a clearer time. So at that moment, 
got to make sure you have it in there in the right hole. That's not hard, not always easy. Now back to you, Brian. He's checked in four and a quarter. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Outside Struess from downtown. Not Struess. Nice set up by Mitchell. Give him eight. And that's on the defense, giving him a decent look. That's his shot. Now here's Rozier. Pass to Highsmith. Launches the three. It's rebounded by Cleveland. The three from Mitchell. Adebayo grabs the board. Adebayo's got five rebounds in the game. Butler on the wing. Hero for three. from distance here in the second quarter. Mitchell deciding where to go with it. Pass to Garland. And here's Allen. And he lobs it up. Rebound by the Heat. Adebayo's got six rebounds now in the game. And you know, Richie, for his age, Evan Mobley's defensive instincts are off the charts. He plays the passing lanes well. He's always in the right position. And with that length and athleticism, he has a chance to be an all-time great defender. Shot clock at five. Here's Butler. Another shot. Six points in the quarter. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You gotta show for Mitchell. Miami grabs the miss. Adebayo's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Down low. Here's Rozier. And a missed layup. A perfect example of how to protect the rim. This is why he's out there in situations like this. He stands tall to prevent points. And sometimes on defense, you can just get lucky. Rozier outside. Two minutes. No. Momento. Here's Butler. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Not that time, but that's a shot that he's going to make more off the time than not. From Pete Struess. Out of bounds. An outstanding Cleveland defender. Ball. Butler uses his size and length well to spot shots. <laughs> Love to show it. Look for Cleveland. Where did he lead? He's checked in. Elon Wright. Right. And Kevin Silver. Baby is subbed in. Not Kevin Silver. Mobley passes to Struess. They swipe it. Right outside. Tries a 10 footer. Jamie Hawkins Jr. 
Cleveland has gotten only four of nine from beyond the arc here in the second. Garland, the pass to LeBert, on the wing, Struess. Adebayo grabs the board. Miami has gotten five of their nine attempts from deep to go. Butler finds Adebayo. Right outside. Pass to Hero. Over LeBert. assist with that last one. And Cleveland's shooting only 42%. Garland for three. Right with the board. Miami has got three of five to fall from beyond the three-point line in the second. Hero on the wing. He's checked by Levert. Hero, the pass to Butler. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Hawkins. The three. Three. To stop the run, come back down. And this is just Three fun. Points. These teams are trading threes back and forth. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. Here's Butler. He's got 11. Right outside. Over Garland. A D is one of the best passers. And that starts That's with the end of the first, first half. Miami Heat. So it's the Miami Heat. 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 The Cavaliers. The Risa. They just can't miss right now. Every shot they're taking, you assume, is going in. We'll be right back after this word. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, and welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. Bernie Johnson here. If your name is Shaquille O'Neal, raise your hand, please. If your name is Shaquille O'Neal, raise your hand, please. Miss Shaq's not here today. If your name is Kenny the Jet Smith, raise your hand. And I'm Kevin Harlan. So it's Miami who's out on top of the half. They have a 13 point lead. And, and over to Shaq. What'd you think about Miami? They wouldn't be here without the members they've got. Major contributions, especially the offensive, is taking a lot of pressure off this team. What a luxury on the second one. And uh, Ken, what did you see from Lee? I thought they had a lack of intensity defensively. They gave up way too many points. I mean, somebody needs to pull out the fire because this fire is out of control. And it certainly wasn't because of their defense. And that'll do it for our halftime report. Stay tuned for the second half. I'm about to get underway. You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly in the second. It has been one outstanding game from Jimmy Butler. Yeah, he's kind of been the floor general for them tonight. A lot of assists for him. And it's a role we don't always see him in, but he's done a great job tonight getting the rest of his team involved. Just about ready for the second half here. A big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. On the court right now for Cleveland. Mobley and Allen, the combo out front. Garland runs point with Mitchell at the two. And it's Struess in at the small forward. That's to Highsmith. Rose here outside. Right outside. Puts up a deep three. The rebound by Allen. Oh, they pick off the pass. Here's Highsmith. Covered by Struess. And it's Highsmith missing. Had enough room to finish, and that's what he'll usually make. To the left side wing. Garland for three. That one for a nice set up by Mitchell. Warner. Mitchell's got three assists in the game. And this is how you can tell Garland's been in the lab. This shot, he just shoots with confidence. Now here's Rosier. And there's the whistle. Oh, 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 oh. the line to shoot oh, Jonathan Mitchell. Says that can first low foul. First team foul. Two. Shooting on the The Lord right. Two shots.
down the first one. Bam out of bios checked in for Miami. Second additional for Miami Heat. Bam out of play. And so he hits both. Second half of basketball, just over a minute played so far. Garland for three. He can't get that one to fall. Miami's got six and 11 threes to go in this game. Goes here outside. Here's Highsmith, checked by Mitchell. To the inside, out of Io. Can't get it to drop. Great D that time from Allen. Cleveland is gone with a one of three from deep here in the third. Mobley outside. Knocked away. The 17 footer. Miami grabs the miss. Adebayo's got rebound number 11. And he right. Sits by Adebayo. For a center, Adebayo is an excellent passer. He's always so aware of his surroundings. Garland, the pass to Mobley. The three from Mitchell, knocks it down oh, from Mitchell. Mitchell. Mitchell has points. 12 points. The Heat have gotten only one of four shots to fall in the second half. Pass to right, puts up a deep three. Sinks he He got caught. Martin, he's checked in for Miami. Robinson comes in for right. Rozier finds out of bio. And Give out of bio all the credit. The D was there, but he was just determined to score. Here's Merrill. Offensive rebound. D Second personal foul. First receive foul. Oh, you got a lot of first games. The man in the end. One you don't hear very often. Two. It's pretty clever. Yeah, he gets it from being a little bit slow up and down the court, but he gets you there in good time. But let's be real, none of his teammates want to have to guard him. He's checked in for Jimmy Butler. Substitution over the heat. Nikola Jokic. It's both from the strike. And now we're three minutes into this third quarter of play. And it's Rogier with the ball for the Heat. Pass to Robinson. Back to Rogier. Over to the left wing. Just five to shoot. Nicholas! his first bucket of the night. Yeah, this is encouraging to see. Rogier actively looking to get the rock to his guys. And here's Mitchell. A savage reverse jam. That takes great body control. No question. He was making a statement right there, man. Mark Mountain. This one for three. And the rebound goes to the Cavaliers. Here's the 
Kuro. Oh, oh, so no point so far. That one falls. Nice setup by the Mitchell. I like the intention. The focus finding a way to make it work inside. Now a timeout call by Miami. And as we head into this break, the players have an opportunity to replenish their energy with Gatorade as they prepare to go into the final stages of this ball game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, not to mention over the course of a season, you have to stay hydrated. If you don't, it's amazing how much slower your body is to bounce back. It can have a serious effect on performance, no question. We'd like to remind you, everyone, that the NBA playoffs in two day sports is brought to you by AT&T. Connecting changes everything with fast, reliable, and secure. Starry Lines. And by the local field players. Who provides colors? We got already really seeing things coming up before, but we're looking to see the Boston Celtics face against the other team. I think the underdog team might be the one that we are looking for. The 7 seed team, that's what there is. Not to Brian. The Heat making a switch here. Richardson's checked in. Morris, he's checked in. Shut the Cavalier. Border Heat. Terry Roche here to throw. Miami, they've gone 4 of 8 in the third. Roche here outside. Martin, the pass to Rozier. Fires from the line. There's Rozier! Rozier is striking from mid-range. Golly, boy. Maybe he catches the defense off guard a little. Down low. Here's Niang. And a nice George finish on the end. Feed the interior. Things will happen. Sam Burrell. Here's Rozier. Five points in the game. It's Martin on the wing. Pass to Richardson. Back to Rozier. Martin inside. Defended by Nia. Five on the clock. Here's Rozier. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Now here's Morris. For three. And the Morris, three Morris, goes. Morris has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Miami, they've got five of ten shots to go. Outside Robinson. And Duncan Robinson! Only increasing the intensity level. Always plays hard until the final whistle, no matter what the situation is. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. Miami's ball. People. The first check in for the old 40. 40 Cavaliers. Karis Levert. Puts it up from 17. Duncan Robinson! Rozier's got a sister. Very Rozier and Drew. Pass to Nia. Morris outside. Back to Nia. Hires the three. Morris, Morris, Morris. Morris has got six points, points in the quarter. Their strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. And you see this so much more nowadays in the NBA. Team putting a larger emphasis on jacking up threes. Two minutes! To see a Two! Momento! Left side, Richardson. Just five on the clock. Over Levert. And it's Niang with a rebound. Cleveland has gotten 12 of their points this quarter from deep. Four of six. And the Coro gets it. Time called here. Miami decides to time out. Miami Heat. So it seemed like we were getting a little bit closer to the end of the third quarter, so we have a little bit more time left to get this thing going. As so we get ready over here to the other side, I hope you guys enjoyed your prime time already. Right, the moment it's, it's already like wow, it's way ahead of it right now. But if you look over here with Terry Rogier, the third, his name is Scary Terry. That's why we are following it because of how that happens. Because the moment I was playing up for Miami Heat, I was playing for college basketball with the Louisville Cardinals. And as you 
Leo Reynos here, who has been selected for the 2015 NBA draft by the Boston Celtics. Back to the first one before we were set your first four seasons as a reserve, with your Celtics until being traded to the Charlotte Hornets in a sign and trade deal. And this really was the start of his own competition. That's really been seen in the Celtics since 2018. But that moment, that could change differently. It only happens with the ACC rookie team and the second team all ACC team. We never have won anything, but that was all that we accomplished it before. Better taste, better than that. back to you. So, so both teams making some changes here. Substitutional, Gordy Heath. Jamie Hawkins Jr. 143 left in the third quarter. Out left to the wing. Here's Hawkins. It's rebounded by Morris. The Cavaliers have gone 8 of 12 from the floor in the third quarter. LeVert with the ball. Hero picks him up. LeVert passes to Morris. The shot's good. August Morris. Morris has got his third basket on the night right here. Rob. It's not Garrett's easy LeVert. to work the ball inside of this league, but they've done it all night. Pass to Hawkins. From the high post. And Genius. Hawkins Jr. Sensing when his guys are open. Here's Morris. That one falls. Morris, nice Morris has got 10 points in the quarter. Donovan Mitchell. But needs some help if they're going to get it done. Isaac Okura. It's Morris from Slow Fall. Comes in for Wayne. Second team foul. Garland subbed in for Mitchell. Seven to show for the Cavs. Evan Garland. Evan Morris Garland. Here's Robinson. He's got 10. Pass to Hero. There's 39 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Just four to shoot. And he's Hero! Busting his way inside. Hero making sure he can't get it. Garland, pass to Mobley. Yep, count it. Never in a tight game. They wanted to make sure that there is Garland. And Miami has possession. Here's Martin. Oh, a clear one out there on the mission. Marcus Boris Z. He'll get a pair at the line. That was a good first little foul. <laughs> no doubt. Three team foul. Got a hammer. Now, the long read. Caleb Martin. Two. saying that it should be known as Caleb Martin and definitely not in the starting five anyway because now he's in the bench group because that moment that happens with a new starting five group has been changed in except for Caleb Martin he just had that one his, on his better range he's in a secondary in the group thankfully he's still here with the team so he gets them both and so it's Garland who brings up the ball for Cleveland Trailing by eight. Outside for LeVert. From deep. Rebound by the Heat. Now Hero. From deep three-point land. That misses. That's the end of the third quarter. And so Miami, the Heat. Miami Heat. 73. Eight points at the end of the period. And the Cavaliers. Their ability to hold the pace. They've been dominant down low. We'll be right back with you shortly. So that's it for right now. The third quarter has come to an end. We come down to the final quarter. This is it. Last chance. Will the Cavaliers close this game? Or will the Heat move on to the conference finals? It's coming up right after this. And while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. 
And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. You've got to admire the vision just as much as the accuracy. Not many players can even spot that pass. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth quarter. Miami's gone 7 of 14 from the perimeter in this one. On the wing, it'll be Robinson and Butler. Then there's Tyler Heath. Then it's Pam on a bye. And it's high school. Power. power forward. That's the group in the game for the Tyler Hewitt. Morris finds some space. Offensive board. And he can literally run free on the offensive glass. This is how you get burned. The heap of the lead. Hero with it. Outside Butler. Back to Hero. Pass to Highsmith. Shoots over Mobley. Defenders lane. Tyler Hewitt from the mid range. Hey, when you trust your shot like he does, it doesn't matter how much size you're giving up. He feels the mid range in his territory. And it oh, he throws it down. Assist the Darius Garland. Great time right there. Butler on the wing. There's the three. is excellent at gutting his way through physical coverage. Just over a minute and a half played here in the fourth. Here's Highsmith. Down to five on the shot clock. The Heat need to get one up in a hurry. Here's Adebayo. And it's good. Tenacity, extra possessions, second chance points. I'm I'm not not now a timeout called by Cleveland. Without question, Jimmy Butler displaying his skills today. And whatever the D has thrown at him, he's carrying his His offense is coming back to you today because he keeps things simple. You hear that, people? Keep things simple. Just why six one left to go, and we still see things going on right now. But it's not only what they're all expecting right now, because of Duncan Robinson and the team, they are just fighting. But yeah, it may not be what they are looking for, but I just see things. It might be what they are looking at. Bernie's just like feeling what they're like he's, he's showing what he's got. I mean, a team ready to look for any conference finals for the first look of his appearances. And just happened already with the last couple of seasons in 2022. They made it all the way to Eastern Conference and all the way to the NBA Finals. This is an excellent take. I can't believe it that they really have been going over this right now. But the take is, probable is, have to make it through that if you But now, you want to see if you can get through that. Hopefully they're going to make it cracking right now, but hopefully this might be a close game or not. Down back to you, Brian. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. J.B. Bickerstaff had some words for his team over the break, and he was adamant that they need to tighten up their team. That lack of communication at that end has led to breakdowns, wide open shooters, and easy buckets. He sounded pretty frustrated, guys. Allie, thank you. Here's Adebayo. Second chance effort, and he knocks she down. Me. Butler's got for Butler. We've seen him as the guy on a finals team, and Jimmy can definitely get a lot of the A dynamic finish, then decides to hang out a little for good measure. <laughs> yep, that's the exclamation point right there. Now here's Rosier. Pass to Butler. Now out of bio, Allen defending. And 
Butler's got six assists now. Two me, Butler. Mitchell against Rozier. So, he two free throws. He was really in the middle Terry Rozier by all. For any defense, so to do it. Oh, and a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Heat. Uh, they're moving the ball around so well, guys. Quick passes, letting the next guy do the work if you don't have a look. Yeah, all game long, they've been also playing well inside in the paint. Lots of points are coming their way thanks to them attacking the interior. And the first one at the line is good. Mitchell just continues to improve every season, and now he's one of the game's elite players. Both free throws good for Mitchell. Here's Rozier. Pass to Highsmith. Here in the fourth quarter, just under two and a half gone by. No good on the shot. And so it's Garland who brings up the ball for Cleveland. 11 point on an Mitchell. Right now, this is what you want to see Mitchell playing without hesitation and just taking quality shots. That appears on a bio. Butler. Butler. G. B. Butler. To give him the rock again. He put the team on his back all game. Yeah, just keep feeding him. That guy is a man on a mission. And the defense, well, they don't have much of an answer. Here's Adebayo. Pass to Highsmith. Over Allen. They get it back. Back to Adebayo. From behind the arc. They've gone six for 11 here in the fourth quarter. Now here's Garland. Here's Allen. Yes. Sure. Assist from Garland. Garland there he is Garland. Number eight here already in the game. Timeout. Time Miami here. Miami decides to talk it over. And something fans don't always get to see. Some of the closely guarded secrets that happen in that room. And we see it so often. One little tweak to the game plan and everything falls into place for a team. So it's getting a little bit closer right now. And we were expecting right now to see what's going to happen here. So coming up, we got a post-game show that's underway. So that would be the coverage here for, for Fan and OJ. This will be only for just to keep an eye on it. I want, I'm going to go ahead and let my people know as silently as possible because this is the only game that's going to be happening here, and this is what's happening right at this moment. Um, there are no other games at this moment here, so the other side will be the other world here. That will be tomorrow night's game for the Thunder taking out against the Wolves. Uh, we got any here for a 9.30 game for the other side, so keep your eyes peeled here for the next one on its way. And for this game, for game seven, if necessary, we will have the Cavaliers back at home facing against the Miami Heat. By that moment, the conference finals will be underway here soon, so that will be the first one to start in the Eastern Conference before the Western Conference on the other side. That will be only one day to game each of the week. So that will be it every day, and now it's time for a new balance player of the game. All right, time now to present our new balance player of the game, Jimmy Butler. When you look at the stats from this game, truly, it was his from the start. 
his scoring's been great, but he's done so many other things on the court as well. Wow, I'm just so impressed with his continued play for his ball club. And you know, this home arena really appreciates this guy, and it's clear that he takes pride in playing his best in front of them. Here's Rozier. Outside Butler. Pass to Hero. Here's Highsmith, covered by Mobley. And it's Highsmith missing. Cleveland has gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. Rozier against Mitchell. Here's Allen. Good D by Adebayo. Miami has gone two of three from beyond the arc here in the fourth. Hero against Mitchell. Here's Highsmith. Here's Butler. He's rebounded by Coro. Showing great intensity around the rim is part of why he's a respected defender. Yeah, you can see why he's established that reputation. What's this, Scarlett's got nine assists. Scarlett. The Heat have got eight of fifteen during the fourth quarter. Stolen by Mobley. Right side Mitchell. The three is up. It falls. Five and the Mitchell. Of fifteen With shooting. Three points. Nice work. Not many better late game right now than Donovan Mitchell. Four. Again, the heat misses. Here's Cleveland. They're on a 16 to 7 run. Grown man, Donovan Mitchell. Mitchell. The moment is never too big for Donovan Mitchell. The heat with the lead. And 101 left in the fourth. That's the hero. Here. 
There are no timeouts left for Miami Heat. This will be the last timeout for now. And with that one, if they make free throws, then it will be Cavaliers who will be taking their free throws in. Keep your eye on it. And I'll be on its way to get right into the next moment to see if the next one gets up. This is it. No timeouts for Miami. And they won for Cleveland. Let's see what happens. Decision starts now. Here's Rozier. And they go to the attempt. He's going to foul. Evan Mobley. The first one is going to foul. Second team foul. Now, while I'm breathing. Secondary, Rozier to third. He gets the first, and that puts him up five. I mean, look at Rogier, such a fantastic score. A gear shifting, talented guard who continues to improve. So both free throws good. That's, that's, almost like a a that's how you protect the lead. Build it out with clutch free throws. Timeout call the Cavaliers. They're behind by six. 24 seconds left in the final quarter. All right, folks. So that's going to do here for now. I hope you all enjoy this part of the game as we have a post game coming on the way. So as you will keep your eyes on the other side. So once this final form goes off, we will be sending you over to the uh, player of the game on the fourth side. And finally, the post game shows are will be underway between the fan and OJ. That's going to be down here on the other side. This is Boomer. I'd like to thank you all for tuning us in here at American Express part of the game at the Casilla Center. Skin. Don't forget to check out the other games here to play this. And for that moment, we'll see you all again for the next one. Be sure to subscribe to this channel. You'll have tons of more of the videos coming out of the way of the NBA playoffs in the NHL. And this will be a new future for you checking out. So, stay tuned for that. Now back to the game. So let's finish it strong and show it how it is. I'll see you guys. left in the fourth. And right here, they can't waste any time. It needs to be a quick shot and a quick foul. Oh, there's a foul right there. There's no personal foul. No team foul. Now, now shooting Mickey. Mayhem on the wire. Two. Seven point so lead. And what makes Bam special is his versatility. 
offensively and defensively. Seven you can do a lot more out there for you than most other guys. She threw the field goals that happened to be Miami Heat, and this one was really like a hard one to take. 38 three pointers were turning like okay, but I think 47 must have been like very locked. I mean, I don't know how many are shooting, but hey, it's just not what they always do. They just don't get enough at that point. That's for Cavaliers 38 percentage. And it was 93 free throws here for Miami Heat, and then 21 and 40 fast break points and the points in the paint. That was uh, just Cleveland Cavaliers was 91, like, the, on a score, but that was always it. And it was 11 second chance points with bench points 38, and then 33 for the assists, and offensive rebound was 8, and defensive rebound was 29. That's for Miami Heat that got that one in there started. Three steals were even up, then it was one block that happened to meet Miami Heat. Five turnovers, only for Miami, with three team fouls, and then it was seven dunks for Cleveland Cavaliers. 16 biggest lead for Miami, and it was 18-27 time possession of the game. Well, I can definitely expect it now. I mean, they really get to say it's like, there's no more, anyway. You know what I mean? It's, it's already done now, so the Cavaliers are eliminated. The Miami keeps moving on to the Eastern Conference Finals, and they are ready to face on at Boston to face against the Celtics. And now it's time for three star players of the game. Thank you so much, RJ. Let's have a look. In between for all the stars of the player, and this one happens with everybody. Starting with Bam Adebayo with 18 points, 17 rebounds with 2 assists. He only had 8 out of 12 field goal range, one three-pointer had just gotten deep right between. 22 performance effort was really well, keeping it in here for a time, but I'm hoping that Bam Adebayo might be ready to kick things on for the Eastern Conference Finals. Well, hopefully they might be saying it in there. If Bam Adebayo gets it, I would be happy so. Now, for number two, we give it over to Jimmy Butler. That happened to be 22 points with the New Balance player in the game with five rebounds, seven assists, one block, nine out of 17 field goals with two three pointers out of five, and it was 40 performance effort. He's been doing excellent so far. Rise up, Jimmy Butler. That's for you. Oh, yeah. I really like it, Jimmy Butler. I mean, he's professional. I love that. JB for everything. And for the number one star, Goes to Donovan Mitchell with 30 points, 1 rebound, 6 assists, and 11 out of 16 field calls. 6 three-pointers out of 10. And then it was 44 performance effort with 3 dunks. I can't tell you what Donovan Mitchell is up to. Maybe he's just keeping on his shooting phrase everywhere? I mean, what's the point? Can you do this one again for a new season? I'm not sure. I mean, you might have to do it on your own. I mean, you got to figure the math calculation. Well, anyways, I hope everybody's enjoying this part of the game. If you're tuning in for tomorrow night's game, that will be only for the Funders and for the Timberwolves. That's going to be back at Paycom Center. That's at 9.30 p.m. So that will be the only game that's happening here. And then we go right into hockey for Game 7, as we will be seeing what's going on. 
because there's only a couple of them up uh, out in between. So you'll see what's going to go in because there may not be any other ones for the NBA before the conference finals hits. So that's the V moment right now. This is OJ and Finn thanking you for watching. Peace out for a while as the NBA 2K Sports of the Playoff style. This is Fan, and I hope everybody's having a great night, a great rest of the week, and also, we'll see you again for our next couple of games. We say so long to Miami and Cleveland Cavaliers for a new season. But it's not over yet because we have a lot more way down to the bracket and then get to the finals is where the last stop is. In the meantime, thanks for tuning us in, and we'll see you again next time. Bye! Good night, everybody. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.